Hi everybody. In this video, I'm going to go through four examples on the simple interest future value formula. Let's go through the first one. How much would your investment of $1,000 grow to if the project offered a simple interest rate of 10% per annum and you purchased it on the 15th of April with a maturity day on the 24th of June? Now, first thing you want to do is put down all the variables you have. So your principal is 1000 your simple interest rate is 10% per annum. And your time is not given. It's given with two dates. Now, I don't know if you guys watched my other video on how to calculate the number of days between two dates, but I'll explain it briefly here. When calculating the number of days between two dates, there are two ways of doing it. The first way is where you include the first date, but you don't include the last date because you cannot conclude both. The second way is to include the last date, but not the first date. So you need to choose between the two. You can never choose both. You can never include the last day and the first day. You get the wrong answer that way. You'll get an extra day. So what you need to do is choose whether or not you're going to include the first day and not the last one, or include the last one, but not the first one. Personally, I like to include the last day, not the first day. Yeah. So I'll show you how I do it. So for April, there are 30 days in April, and I don't want to include the first day, so I'm just going to take 15 away from it straight away. So that's April. Plus May. How many days in May? 31. So that's May. Plus, I'm going to include the last day, so you plus 24. And what does that equal to? That is 70 days. Making your T 70 on 365 years because you need it to have your T in the same time units as your rate. Yeah. Now, let's continue with this example. Your future value formula is P bracket 1 plus RT close bracket. Now, you don't need to rearrange this equation because you got your future value and that's exactly what you're trying to find. Right. So, let's get into it. 1000 bracket 1 plus your rate which is 10% multiplied by 70 on 365 once you put this into your calculator so a thousand times bracket or this close bracket you would get one thousand and nineteen dollars and eighteen cents that's your first example Let's go to this one. Sandra wants to know how long in months it would take for her savings to, of $1,000 to grow to $1,050 if a bank offers her a simple interest rate of 10% per annum. Let's start writing out what we have. You have your principal, which is 1000 You have your future value, which is $1,050. And you have your simple interest rate, which is 10% per annum. And that means you want to find time. Now, I've gone through how to rearrange this future value formula, which is future value P bracket 1 plus RT in another video, in a previous video, actually. So if you want to check that out, check it out. But I know that T must equal to future value on principle minus 1. All of this bracketed up on your simple interest rate. Now, all that's left is to put it in. So you got 1,050 on 1,000 minus one. And you need to have a bracket in for this in your calculator. So all this needs to be bracketed up. And then you put your 10%. Your answer should be 0 0.5 years. You have produced an answer that is in years. Why? Because your rate is in years. So what do you need to do to convert this into months? Because it's asking for months. Well, how many months in half a year? Six months. And there you are. Let's move on to our next example. Henry bought an antique watch for $1,000 and sold it six months later for $1,050. What simple interest rate did he earn on this sale? 
Let's put out what we have. Your principal is a thousand. Your future value is a thousand and fifty. Your time is six on twelve years. And what you're trying to find is your rate. Now, I know what the formula for rate is. And if you don't know it, go to the previous video and check out how you get that formula. But essentially, your future value on your principal minus one, close bracket, on time. That is how you find your simple interest rate. Now let's just plug everything in. Future value on your principal minus one. Make sure to have this bracketed up. You forget it and you're not going to get the right answer. T, six on 12. What you would get is 10% per annum. Let's go through our last example. You have been told that the maturity value of a treasury bill that matures in six months is $1,050. The simple interest rate offered by the treasury bill is 10% per annum. Calculate the principal of the investment. So we're calculating the principal. Future value is 1050. Your time is six on 12 months, on 12 years, sorry. And your simple interest rate is 10% per annum. You're trying to find your principal. So let's write out the principal formula. Yet again, if you haven't watched the previous video, please do. Future value on one plus R T, close bracket. This equals 1050 on one plus 10% multiplied by t, which is 6 on 12. What you have as your principal is 1,000. And that concludes our video. Thank you for watching.